When a man is cold and tired, most men don't pay attention to him. When a man is cold and tired, most women continue to pay other women money and homage. When a man is cold and tired, people will pay the invalid over any white man in struggle. But what those pagans, not pagans, what those panhandlers will do is that they will lie to you every single minute. That someday, somewhere, they have a place to stay because they're almost always carrying the things that people provide them. The power trip that people receive, generally speaking, is that they allow them to provide them anything at all, and they will take it home or they'll throw it away. But the handle on the cash they receive is still theirs to utilize or those to use to deceive. And the deceivers of America like to play that they have the power to take away a person's power of choice, power of opportunity, power of profession, power of career. The liars of America are powerless, is what people will say, but in truth, you give them power. You empower them to feel entitled to not work. In my case, I am very old and I am tired. And the oldness of me is relating to my age and the way that your pagan, not at all, your police departments have violated the law with me. And the way that your employees ill will treat me. But the lie you've told yourself is that you don't owe me a thing. But every time you walk past a female who is in struggle, you're ready to pay her everything. Those liars enter my tent while I'm sleeping. They cut my clothing, they stain my opportunities, and they literally cut my beard off. But you're okay with it because of the lies you've told yourself. That you have rights to watch me be abused and do nothing but be amused. And today, a boy drove by me in a blue vehicle whose plate I called out to the satellite men in the sky because he was implying that he had the right to keep playing with my beard. You see, a sexual predator is what you are. And a sexual predator is the type of person who says, I'm going to fix you, I'm going to change you, I'm going to mold you, I'm going to take you, I'm going to ruin you. This morning, I'm walking behind a grocery store I'm about to go shopping at. I often look back there for recycling things because I've seen people throw a really expensive, really well-worn, not at all, but properly, relatively new baby things. I'm not interested in being a parent to a baby unless my girl is the hottest thing in the world. And openly, there's only three women that strike me as that, but that's my choice to be that minimalistic in who I choose. In America, we have rights to pick and choose what we are interested in, who we wish to play with, who we wish to cuddle and snuggle and lay with, and openly who we die to have stay with us.